for Tilde. And Philly's own MPG, uh, being as unbiased as possible, this kid is nah, insane. Hey, listen. Chris, that's the island's prodigy. That's Long Island's finest. We could be a little biased on the mic sometimes. A little sometimes. bit, a little bit. We got a little bit of bias going on as we go right into Final Destination, which is a stage I know both of these players love for their characters. The way that they're able to absolutely smother their opponent's options and just make clip after clip out of their stocks. Oh, I can't yeah. wait to see who's going to come out on top of this one. I'm super excited. I mean, it's really just a battle of who's able to get into the zone first, right? PK Kiss is really good at using his aerials to kind of shut down areas of the stage with Ness. And MPG does the same thing, except with Metal Blade and Leaflet. It's literally just whoever's able to get there and get comfortable in the center stage first is probably going to be able to win this out. The dichotomy of projectile pressure from Mega Man is actually going to be a huge factor of this matchup when you consider the way that Chris loves to move around with Inside Magnet and whether or not the pellets are going to actually be able to do anything, or if MPG can use that as an opportunity to go right in with a move that the magnets are not going to save him for. Back here closes out the first stock, and MPG already on the hunt to build up that damage more. One of the hardest things about this matchup for PK Chris is going to be MPG's existence offstage. Like, Mega Man is so good at catching characters coming out from offstage. We see it when he fights Beast, when he sees Edge Guarding Pokemon trainers. He's the same thing as Ness. The one thing, like Ness is really good at delaying his recovery, but against a figure like Mega Man, that down there, it just floats out there and absolutely destroys any attempt you have of making it back. So, you've definitely got to mix that up time and time again. A truly wily character when it comes to how you can play off stage and whether it's returning from off stage or edge guarding itself. Chris looks for reversal after reversal, but it's just a simplistic edge guard that ties up the stock count. Well spaced back air manages to put Chris back on even ground. Oh yeah, definitely. Here we go. MBG trying to start up some combos of his own. 85% on PK Chris right now. That leaf shield going to do like getting that out of there. Trying to look, looking for the uh, Metal Blade Z-Drop combos here. 97%. This is the prime kill range for Mega Man. He just needs to find something. Maybe combo into a forward air here. That back air is going to send PK Chris off stage. Just being on the ledge against the Mega Man is going to be the scariest thing. That back air is not going to take it. You're so close to doing your stock here, though. And that, ooh, amazing recovery for PK Chris. He's still hanging on here. Oh, yeah. Not only is he hanging on, he's looking for an opportunity to build oh up even gosh. more damage, potentially take a stock, just rip it out from the lead that MBG has built up for himself. Metal Blade in hand, plenty of opportunity to either extend an edge guard or look for that hit confirm into Mega Up Air. At 150, Ness melts from up tilt. Uh oh. Okay, just melt from that though. You gotta be careful. Getting a little too overzealous with these kill options could take you out here. Oh, MBG getting a little too lost in the sun. You're in that forward air. What an option. That's yeah, so where, great. who does that? I didn't know that. I was like, oh yeah, he's definitely dead because he's down smash, right? Nope. I mean, hey, listen, if you get hit, it's going to interrupt your attack. Oh Simple law smash, and it works gosh. so well in MPG's favor. Wow, he claims this lead right back. Amazing for MPG. Nice Z-drop into offering 30%. MPG claiming his lead now, and looking as Pika Chris being a little short from that last lock, and he needs to get back on the force here because 40% is absolutely nothing to scoff at right now. MPG has such a strong control of how he wants to space his buttons here. Ooh. Down to the dash attack and miss input from Chris. Plenty of good damage, but no stock to find from it. Oh, that back air is going to take the stock. Focus up for PK Chris. We're in last stock situation here. MG looking for an opening here. And PK Chris using that PK magnet, looking for the right time to absorb projectile and go in. But it's, it's so hard because Mega Man is just covering a constant wall of projectiles at you. Yep. It's, you have to find that, the little crevice in between the wall to get through. And this is the second half of the dichotomy that I brought up earlier between Leaf Shield and Metal Blade. Physical projectiles that you're not going to see get absorbed, and they're not going to clank with the hitbox of Sun Magnet either. They're consistent tools that MPG is keeping on the table. And the way that he's having constant control of Metal Blade on the field, refusing Chris the ability to take that away from him. Just making sure that he always has an ace up his sleeve. Oh, Chris going back with the PK fire. Wait a minute. Oh, I, I, I saw the vision. Chris was going for something fierce there. And we're using that PK that uh, forward air to get him out of there, though. 127% trying to find the F forward smash. He's getting in the zone right now. He can PK Chris away from it. 141. Almost anything from Mega Man can take the stock right now. Nice air dodge there. You've got to be careful here. Your stock is on his last legs. PK Chris has to throw out something crazy right now. But that forward air is going yep. to take it. MBG takes game one. Very clean position. Very well played on both ends, although that game one riddled with miss inputs from Chris. I'm curious to see if he's going to opt to go back to the final destination because when it was Chris's turn to play, he looked incredibly comfortable. 
But MPG had such a surefire way of controlling space between his projectiles and seeing how Chris was moving around them to then position Mega Man itself to go in with back air and forward air, just constantly occupying space with a hitbox. Mm -hmm. I think, honestly, it's gonna, this is going to be tough. I, I don't think that your advantage is what you need to worry about. I think you need a, a platform or something to get away from Mega Man. If you have a flat space, he's literally just standing there and is like, okay, pick an option off stage, and I have 13 moves to cover that. Like, MPG literally, every, like that F smash, that forward air, he always knows what the options are on the table for him. His brain literally knows exactly what you want to do. So if you at least you have that platform, you have that, there we go, we're going to small battlefield, you have that sense of mind and some kind of counterplay to this. This is a fantastic stage choice. I feel like even though Mega Man can play off these platforms very well, it is going to limit the way that MPG has been trying to cover the ledge and cover aerial space. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, Z-dropping Metal Blade isn't going to be nearly as effective, and you have a lot more active space to be able to avoid Leaf Shields. Taking those tools away from how strong MPG has made use of them so far, I think is actually going to be uh -oh. a really big deal. Oh no! Oh, oh! He just put him sit down there. It's a little screwy, but he's uh, fine. Okay, okay. Just, we do a slight bit of trolling out here. It's okay. <laughs> a little goofing around with friends. A little bit of, uh, of messing. Oh, nice coverage on that platform with the nair. MPG coming back down with the down air though. Not even find that down throw in the back air. Nice pressure from both these players. Nice back air from PK Chris. That oh PK just barely missing that PK. Oh, we're catching with the up smash though. Mega Man heavy. It's not going to be killing just yet. Oh, sharking away with back air. Excellent from Chris. And we've seen that back air come out stock after stock from him as well. An excellent tool for trying to cover those blind spots after MPG commits to either an air dodge or an aerial. Oh yeah, exactly. I mean. If he's doing a good job of kind of holding down this neutral state, but now you're now when you're when you're down as Mega Man, you have to force his interaction to take the stock. And PK Chris is going to excel here with that PK Mac is gonna be really good. And sitting in the corner and waiting for an off thrown out from Mega Man. I mean already 27% being thrown out. He's getting that damage up from the pellets. And oh my gosh, he's pushing this pressure on that MPG. And it's so hard to break back from this. Oh that almost got really scary for MPG really quickly. Got to be mindful of when Chris is trying to shark around looking for potential opportunities for PK. Oh, wait a minute! This is Metal Blade combos of his own! Is that the Nevermore Classic? Is the, 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 the Metal Blade combos? No, nah, that's on? the Chris Classic. Trying to take advantage of your opponent's tools against them. Regardless of whatever kind of item or projectile it could be. Chris is a very aware player when he's plugged in. He looks for every and any oh, opportunity. What an, but so what a does MPG! Out. What a call out, catching that crash bomb into back air there. MG evening up the stock count. And now he's back in his zone. He has rush set up. He's back in the area. It's time for MG to get back his damage. But Chris calling the jump out with the, with the forward air. He's using those aerials so good as a disjoint to stay away from Mega Man, keep that pressure on. Amazing stuff from this player. MG just kind of struggling to find an opening here. And that back air makes him the DI. MG's on his last locker game, too. MG, I feel like he was hunting a little too hard for something to connect in that opportunity. Gotta slow the buttons down a little bit more, because right now you're playing right into Chris's hands. He's a very naturally aggressive player, and when you play at that tempo on his call, it doesn't matter how many buttons you press, he's just waiting for that one opportunity to either trade or whip punish. You oh, have yeah. to be able to take that momentum away from him. A player that's that momentum driven, you have to change how the game is being played. And Mega Man is a phenomenal character for being able to say how the tempo was set. Oh yes, exactly. I mean, those leaf baits in are always so good for setting the pace of the game. That up air is going to come out. Nice DI from PK, Chris. You're still at 100%, and that Metal Blade Z drop in the back air is not going to do it. Now you're off stage against Mega Man. Being at the stage is going to be a tall order. Oh, nice thing that PK Thunder to keep Mega, uh, MPG off of you on the ledge. Now you're back at center stage with MPG trying to find the strong unit of that forward air. Now we'll find it. Oh, nice parry there from PK. You're falling out of the back air. Oh, this is going to do it. Yeah, you're gone. Yeah. Good night. He's literally being blown away. Now we're at the even stock percent here. PK Chris doing such a good job of cracking his damage up. MPG just trying to find an opening, and he's really struggling to right now. It's just such a high octane game, and Mega Man, he's got the tools to try to keep up, but not a lot in close reversals. And MPG, he's really doing his damnedest to make the Metal Blade be the tool that gets it done. But Chris is trying so hard to keep that Metal Blade from covering a good space. Take note of how he's trying to be more above him. That's why MPG is getting so much off of Air Shooter. Oh, yes, exactly. I mean, 
PKG doing such a good job of catching PK Chris in the air, but down on the ground, PK Chris is calling out all these options from MPG. Set to PK fire in the forward air. Nice calling out that metal blade, trying to find the edge guard there. MPG still in this game, jumping away from the up smash. You gotta be careful here, because PK Chris at 81%, a metal blade Z drop could take your stock out here at 141. He's trying to go off stage against MPG. Nice using that leaf shield to get him out of there. And I'm saying this is uh, just a great position for both of these players. You just need one hit. There we go, the metal blade. This could be huge. Oh no, the air shooter. Oh, you're fine. Nice air dodge. Back throw is not going to take it. Oh, the crash on you right now. This is going to be so unfortunate for PK Chris. That's a lot of health, though, and he's in a good position to bounce himself back. A lot of room to be able to shoot himself. Oh, right the F smash, right. though. Talking about shooting through a charge shot. Manages to thread the needle. He actually he thread the, through the fire and the flames. That F smash connecting. Amazing stuff for MPG. Like... I, I saw him go for the down Oh, he missed out. What do you do now? Like, MPG is so insane with the F smash call outs, right? You float above that edge one too many times. MPG's like, all right, that's enough. If you go off stage and you got hit with that crash bomb, I don't care if you absorb it. I'm taking this stock now. He saw this. He, he saw these downers. He's like, okay, I know he's going to go a little aggressive with the PK Thunder. And boom, he just got shot. He's out of there. Even Chris was taken aback with that hit. What's that player cam? What, what is that? What happened there? What, that was insane. Whoop. Now MPG up 2-0 against PK Chris. PK Chris has got a hill to climb. He needs to win three games in a row to bring this back against his teammate. Right now, MPG, Delaware's strongest soldier. He's looking to make a statement in this game three. You know, it's it's the young gun tenacity with the skills to match. Mm -hmm. Mega Man, a character that has that longevity, being able to match a tempo, stay alive, but as long as you're staying proactive in how you can force options out of your opponent, react in turn, like, MPG seems like he he knows when to wait. That's really important when oh, you're yeah. playing on the back heel. But playing with a lead, that's a whole other ballgame because now you have a Chris who's backed up against the corner. Chris does not want to go back into that loser's run. He does not want to have to face the likes of someone like Shin or Tilde. He's not trying to see all that. Oh, nobody's trying to face all that. That's why MPG wants to clinch out this 3-0 victory. He's using that rush to get back to the stage. Fine, there we go. Nice air dodge there. Calling out the drift away with the 4 Oh, the PK Chris looking for that hard call out with that F-Smash once again. Oh, it's a little too crazy there with the Metal Blade. Now MPG looking to close the soccer. Nice back air call out. We got him off stage. We got him on the ropes once again. MPG needs to take a little bit more advantage of when PK Chris goes off stage. He's getting, and there, as I say that too, the F-Smash call out again. MPG is just letting it rip right now. This is a shooting range. Bang, 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 bang. He's got so many ways to cover that space with disjoints. And Chris knows that it's not a certain thing to protect himself with Psy Magna because of how Leaf Shield and Metal Blade have been threatening so much space. On top of how MPG is baiting out the Psy Magnet and forcing out options with back air and forward air. The fact that he has charge shot available in spite of the way that Chris uses Psy Magna is just marvelous. Oh yes, exactly. you're definitely right there. I mean, PK Chris is already trying to get back in with that Nair. Oh, nice call again, dropping down go. with the Nair. Right on cue. 37% is not much in this matchup, but now MPG still has his lead. He has you off stage once again. Is that air dodge? It's going to get called out. Oh, just barely not going to get called out there. PK Chris trying to find an opening here, but now MPG is confident. When you are you fighting a confident MPG, there's almost nothing that can take this guy down. This kid is on fire right now. Nice call. The downside of the finding the kind of the F-Smash. Okay, getting a little too crazy with the F-Smash there, but still not getting punished for it. Looking for the down air. Oh, okay, that was... <laughs> oh, wait a minute! Okay, Train hits okay. for hits up till blows up the stock. Setting the Crash Bomber onto Chris. Chris now on final stock, potentially. Finally, Chris looking at his winner side stock right now. He has to make something crazy happen. But MPG with the lead is definitely a beast that is very, very difficult to tame. Nice call with the Nair, though. PK Chris looking at some crazy... Oh, okay. All right, that... <laughs> that pellet moving at the speed of light. MPG is looking as comfortable as ever. Nice when that pressure with the uppers and the platform. His shield looking so small right now. Oh my gosh. The tracking with the PK Thunder. Oh, there we That's go. The tracking. Chris is good with. The PK oh, Rocket amazing. connecting. And now we're on basically even percentage in this last stock. This is still definitely doable. PK Chris is still in this. Also take note, Wilma, the way that Chris is trying to make use of the Metal Blade more and more and more and keep the battle in at close range, but also in a way where MPG can't just throw out back air errantly and can't rely on the close-in hit of neutral air. All of a sudden, all of these excellent zoning options that has led MPG to a potential victory are just snuffed out. A fantastic adaptation from Chris, but potentially one that's too late. 
Oh yeah, it might be too late here. MG has you on the ledge. Metal Blade in hand. He's looking for that Z drop. He's looking for this combo. Nice up air, 78% on PK Chris right now. Uh oh, he's looking for the. He's looking for a crazy read. Once MPG stops moving, you know he's gonna. Oh no. Aaron Di back here will take down 80%. And Nevermore's MPG moves up 3 0, oh, putting himself in winners. Finals to defend the North 2022. My Very boy. Well this was like, oh my gosh. The way he uses F smash, you, you wouldn't think it was a flash attack. You'd think it was like a tilt. The way he uses it, like, like it's literally nothing. <laughs> MPG is absolutely an insane player and amazing adaptation through the set. PK Chris, he, he, he was picking up the pieces towards the end, but. You fail to real like you, you picked up the pieces a little bit too late because MPG was like, okay, I, I see what you're trying to do, but like you fail to realize that like I'm still Mega Man and you're still Ness off stage, right? Like th this is <laughs> the win is here. Like, well, come on, bada bop boom pow. Get Good night. out of here, yo. This PK rocket was also insane. You find PK Thunder, wait for the landing, and boom, just again. Like who does that? It PK all goes Chris to hell that. so fast for Chris though. Just the patience on MPG from the start of that, the rising back air. It's a that, no, no, no. That, that DI was something else, yo. That was... <laughs> that was the mom called for dinner DI. Yeah. That was the Nevermore just, just DM me and said, bro, <laughs> throw for content. We need MPG in Winners Finals. <laughs> Good stuff rough. to both these players from Nevermore, but man, MPG showing up. So number two ranked in Philadelphia. Recently went from number one in Philadelphia to number two. He's still showing he has the, the skills. He didn't fall. He didn't fall off. He's still definitely here. He's making his presence known. He's at Defend the North 2022, and he is in winners finals. Just excellently played from MPG. We've seen how well that Mega Man can handle from the winners bracket because there's going to be a lot of heads um, trying to get him out of there. But with the way that he was able to shift from his zoning pressure to the close range trapping, I don't know. It, given the character spread for this tournament, you'd think on paper. He's got a tough time ahead of himself, but with that style of play and how proactive his reactions have been, he might be walking home with the trophy. Yo, that's the thing about Mega Man, right? Like, we, 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 this is not a character we see often, right? But we saw it in Riptide. We saw it at Riptide with Pete not getting second at Riptide. We saw it. We, we see it with every week with MPG in Philadelphia, right? The thing about this character is that he has insane zoning tools. He has insane traps, but his close range game.